Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to share 7 tips to help you get the most out of your college experience and set yourself up for success in life. I created a Notion template to help you identify the opportunities available to you right now so you can start developing the skills necessary to advance your career. You can download the Notion template completely for free using the link in the description below. These 7 tips will help you navigate this exciting chapter of your life and achieve your aspirations during and after college. The last tip is the most important, so make sure to watch this video until the end. As I'm completing my PhD, I find myself reflecting on the incredible journey of the past 12 years that I spent in college. During my undergrad, I not only got the highest grades of my class, but I also studied one year abroad in Ireland, did two industry internships, founded and was the chairperson of an IEEE student branch, went skydiving and traveled a lot. During my PhD, I had the opportunity to publish in renowned academic journals, launched my startup company, ran a workshop for kids with NASA, and participated in different entrepreneurship programs while also traveling the world in my spare time. Learning how to learn will benefit you not only during college, but throughout your career as well. So set some time aside to learn some strategies and tools to increase your productivity. It's recommended to use both passive learning and active learning. Passive learning is when you receive information without participating in creation or exploration. Active learning, on the other hand, is when you actively engage with the topic. Develop hard skills as well as soft skills. Hard skills are the technical skills related to your major. Soft skills, on the other hand, are personal skills such as public speaking, communication, leadership, teamwork, project management, decision making, problem solving, only to name a few. In general, you develop hard skills through learning the curriculum or doing technical or research projects. Sometimes learning hard skills also helps you develop soft skills. For example, I did engineering, so I spent an awful lot of time learning maths and physics by solving abstract complex problems. And to be honest, I never used 90% of what I learned. Most people would conclude that learning all that was a complete waste of my time. However, I like to think about that differently. For me, it was all about developing problem-solving skills and critical thinking. I believe that learning all that stuff fundamentally changed the way my brain works and how I solve problems. Sometimes it's not about what you learn, but the skills that you develop in the process of learning that. One way to learn soft skills like communication, leadership and productivity is from books. And that's where the sponsor of today's video, Short Form, can really help you learn more in less time. Short Form is the best app for book summaries. You can quickly discover the book's top ideas with their one-page summary before diving deep into the chapter-by-chapter -chapter summaries. And they also suggest reflective and practical exercises to help you implement what you learn. The best part for me is that you can not only read the book summaries, but also listen to them, similar to a podcast. If you're learning English, it is a great way to practice, because you can read and listen at the same time. This way, you can learn the spelling of the words and the correct pronunciation. If you want to try short form, I got a special link which gives you free access for 7 days and a 20% discount on your annual subscription. So make sure to check out short form using the link in the description below. But you can also develop these soft skills by getting practical experience. 
which leads nicely into tip number three, which is to get real-world practical experience outside the lecture rooms. The soft skills that you get from practical experience are just as important or a little bit more important than the abstract, theoretical, technical skills that you learn in lectures. College is a time for learning and growing by experiencing different things. Put yourself in situations that force you to grow and develop new skills. So a practical tip here is for you to follow your interests and look for opportunities both in college, such as clubs, societies, workshops, elective courses, whatever is there, and outside of college, such as internships, part-time jobs, or even volunteer work. Tip number four is to develop effective organizational and time management skills. I can't emphasize enough how important this skill is for both your professional and personal lives. A great way to start is to learn how to use planners, calendars, or other tools to help you keep track of your exams, assignments, important events, and deadlines. One habit that I swear by is to use a weekly planner. It helps me clearly see what needs to get done each day of the week and how that's connected to my main goals. So it increases my motivation and accountability while preventing procrastination and overwhelm. I really can't recommend it enough, so if there is only one thing you take from this video, that has to be learning how to use a planner. I actually use my own weekly planner, which you can get for free using the link in the description box. I like to use Google Calendar to have the lectures, commitments and key dates all in one place. This way you can visualize everything and you can identify the pockets of time that you can use to study, to do sports or to do something fun with people. Tip number five is to develop an effective study routine. And there are three main things that I wanted to suggest here. The first one is to create dedicated, focused study sessions in your schedule. In a focused study session, I remove all distractions. I put my phone away, I block distracting websites using the Stay Focused Chrome extension, and then I get my workspace organized and get the material that I will need for the study session. Then I set a clear goal, I check my weekly planner and select the tasks that I will get done during that focused session. And last but not least, I plan breaks, because telling myself I'll be studying for three hours without a break is just a bit overwhelming. I'll probably procrastinate a lot to get started. But telling myself I'll study for 30 minutes and take a five minute break is a lot easier. I usually use the Pomodoro technique to keep me accountable there. If similarly to me, you also study from home, I'm sure my study with me videos will help you get more motivated and focused. I'll leave the link to my study with me playlist in the description box so you can bookmark it and have it ready whenever you start studying. So I mostly study at home, but every now and then I like to mix it up a little bit and I move around the house or go elsewhere to study. You can also create or join a study group if you like studying with people too. The third thing to take into account when developing an effective study routine is to romanticize it. For me, romanticizing is all about being the moment and enjoying the small things. I like to create a nice atmosphere by getting some coffee or tea, lighting up a candle or turning on a diffuser, using my planner and playing a study with me video in the background. Anything that makes the process of studying more enjoyable and fun. Tip number six is to network and nurture relationships. Networking can open doors to job opportunities and valuable connections. So attend career fairs, industry events, and networking sessions to connect with other professionals in your field, and also cultivate relationships with other students and lecturers in college. The people you know define your future in more ways than you can imagine. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people closest to you. Meet a lot of people, but choose your your friend group very well. Tip number seven, which is the most important part of this video. So I created a free Notion template to help you identify your motivations, define your goals, and design a plan to get the best out of college. It includes reflective questions such as 
Why did I decide to do this major? What do I want to do when I finish this major? What do I want to get out of this major? How can I get relevant experience as soon as possible? And what does a successful college experience mean to me? The Notion template is super simple to use, but it will help you get a lot of clarity on where you want to go and how to get there. So hit the link in the description box and get started now. Thank you so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up if these 7 tips were helpful and I suggest that you watch my weekly planning video next. I hope to see you there. Bye!